talk about the VOR itself. Here's our little VOR station, and it sends out signals 360 degrees. So it's sending out that signal right there, and we'll just say that that's the 040. And this is a radio. A signal being beamed away from a station. If you are traveling away from a station, you are said to be traveling on a radial. Okay? If you are traveling a signal to a station, you're on a bearing. Okay? So away from a station, a radial, to a station, a bearing. So let's say that this is the 040. And we want to use this to fly to the station, but we're out here. Okay? This signal, this 040 signal, can be picked up anywhere. Depending on how you set up the equipment in the airplane. In the airplane, you have a box. It's a little box. It's a receiver. It picks up the signal based on how you have the instrument set up. Okay? This little box does not know, nor does it care, what direction the nose of the airplane is pointing. All right? All it is is a box telling you its location based on the information you have entered into the instrument. Doesn't care that it's heading this direction, this direction, this direction. Doesn't know that. Has no interpretation of aircraft heading. Okay? So if we want to fly to this station, we're going to set up our instrument so that it looks like this. We are going to rotate this OBS until we have 040 up here in our course window. Hopefully we'll have a centered needle and our little two window will be highlighted or lit up. If the two window or the little arrow pointing up is lit up, you are receiving or hopefully flying on a bearing, meaning you're headed towards the station. Okay? So if we're out here, what heading do we need to fly to get to that station? Roughly. 040, basically. Okay? Even though the signal is being beamed out this direction, we're going to fly on the reciprocal to get to that 040, to maintain that course to get to the station. I know it sounds kind of jerked up, but hopefully we'll be able to make sense of it as we go on and do some of these exercises. <coughs> so number one, determine our position relative to a station. Let's say that we're out here flying around in the, the desert and we just want to know where we are relative to Julian VOR. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. We are going to dial in 114.0 on our navigation side. Then what are we going to do? Identify. We're going to identify the station. We go through our identification procedure, we flip up to ID, turn up the volume, and we listen for our Morris identifier. Okay. We listen to it as many times as it takes to know we are on that particular VOR. Turn down the volume, put the switch back to its neutral position. Then we are going to rotate this OBS until we have two things. Number one, we're looking for a centered needle. The needle's running right down the center. And a from indication. Okay? When we have those two things, we're going to read whatever number is in the course window. And let's say 150 or 15 is in our course window. Then what we're going to do is take a straight edge or something resembling a straight edge 
and we're going to put it on the VOR, put one end on the center of the VOR, and then find 150 on the compass rose. And 150 is right there. We are just going to draw a line. And our aircraft's position is somewhere on that line. Good pen. Okay? So if we are the, uh, somewhere on the 150 radial, what is our position relative to the station? Southeast of the station. South, southeast, south. When would you ever use that? We'll talk about that in a little bit. Because there is a time. That's a bummer. That was a really nice. Oh, now it writes. Good. Not a bummer anymore. Um, we're going to talk about that when we do triangulation. Okay? And you'll see the importance of that. Number two, determine a course to a station. We want to take off from Gillespie and we want to fly directly to Julian VOR. So what we're going to do, we're going to get up in the air. We're going to dial in Julian VOR. Then what are we going to do? Identify it. Identify the station. After we have the, the station identified, we are going to roll the OBS around until we have a centered needle and a two indication. And whatever it says up here in the course window, 040, we're going to make our heading indicator. We've got our little picture of our airplane. Make our heading indicator match whatever it says in the course window. And that should fly us right to Julian VOR. Pardon me? Do we need to correct it based on the no. deviation? No. No. All of the signals in a VOR are already magnetic. You don't have to worry about it. So, so you just turn it until you have it centered, until you have it centered, and then you read the number of Until you're centered also, but don't forget, this is important too, the two indication. Because it will also center with a from indication, and it will be the reciprocal of 040. Even though you're heading for it. Yeah. Remember, that box doesn't know the direction the airplane is headed. You just told it. You told it it's supposed to be heading this way. So if you're no, it's telling you, it's telling you, it's, listen to this, it's telling you it's position in space. It's not telling you that it's supposed to be headed any direction. It's just telling you where it is relative to what you have in here. Here's what I mean. Uh, perhaps I could have, I should have explained myself better. Here's our station, okay? Zero, four, zero. Right. Two, zero. And the reciprocal. Now, based on this, you've got a two indication, meaning you are on this side of the VOR. Yeah, heading to it. Okay. No. Take the heading two out of there, because our airplane could be heading this direction, and you can still get the same reading. Yeah, because it would be reading 180 off when it would be it's not. It's be reading exactly this, the same thing. Right. Okay. Let me give oh, you an example. I get you. Okay. Let me give you an example. Here we are heading to the station with 040. Mm -hmm. Now I take that airplane and I flip it around. Now what's the instrument read? Still The exact same thing. Doesn't matter if the airplane's heading this way, if it's heading this way, this way, or this way. 